Hi everyone, I'm Diddy's. Welcome to my first YouTube video. Today we'll be going through 50 blazonry terms that you'll want to know if you're learning how to blazon. The word blazonry refers to armorial devices and shields and coats of arms. Blazonry maybe seems complex at first, but I think there's a simplicity to it that is really beautiful. And once you get the hang of it, you can look at a device like this and read it like a map, basically. Party per pale, argent invert, a tree eradicated, countercharged, counterchanged, counterchanged. The language is generally designed to be as concise as possible and avoid ambiguity. There's an order to the way that you read things, and I just I think it's a beautiful system, and I hope that you um, find this video interesting. Um, before we start, I want to preface this video with two things. The first being that um, I'm not an expert. I'm not a heraldry expert by any means. Um, so if you are, please be nice to me. <laughs> if I do get anything wrong, do, do point it out in the comments. I want to get better at this kind of thing. Um, but I am still learning. I'm basically just enthusiastic about this topic and I wanted to to bring that to people that might not necessarily have heard of this sort of stuff before. Number number two is um this is this is my first YouTube video. I am more than aware that it's going to be extremely bad. The editing, um, my delivery, I am again learning this as well, so um I would <laughs> I'd encourage you to subscribe because I think that if you stick with me I will definitely get better and better and um it would be really nice to have you here for the whole ride. Okay, let's go. First word we will start with is a palmy. An open hand showing the palm. Armed refers to an animal's horns, tusks, and claws when a, they are a different colour to the animal's body. Attired is when a stag's antlers are a different colour to its body. Are you attired of these yet? Azure is um, blue, which is a tincture. Bar is um, bands across the shield. You can also refer to these as bars or barulets, which is a cute word, depending on how, how many appear. Um, I'm not gonna get into like the intricities of this because we would be here literally for hours if I did. A base is the bottom of the shield. Bearing is one of the single charges. Bend, okay. We're getting kind of slightly back into hard mode again. A bend is when the shield goes from right to left. And a bend sinister is when the division is from left to right. Bordier. A bordier encloses the shield and it's kind of um, like a, a border around it. Chevron. Um, you might know this word from fashion. In heraldry it looks like this, so you can part the shield per chevron or per chevron inverted. Chief is the top of the shield. Counterchanged is when um, like a symbol is like different colours. I'll, I'll just show you. <laughs> hey bestie! The word cooped um, describes an animal's head which is cut off cleanly at the neck and I believe facing Dexter. When it's facing forward towards the viewer it is called something else. Crescent is a crescent moon going like this. Debruised is when a charge is covered by an ordinary or diminutive. Um, it is debruised by it. Dexter is the right side of the shield. Dormant, um, you might be able to guess this. When you say dormant, it refers to an animal like lying down D dormantly. Embattled is one of my favorites. It is when, you know, um, you know, like, you know, like when castle turret uh, crenulations cren do like the little, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you. Embrued means with blood on its point. Uh, mine is a white fur with a black tail. Um, there are generally two kinds of furs which are actually like patterns that you can learn more about if you go elsewhere. <laughs> 
The word fess refers to horizontal, so you can part the shield per fess. You can also have things going fess-wise, like if you have uh, some, some swords that are lying on the side, they are fess-wise. Field is um, kind of an easy one, it's just the background, it's like the thing on which all the other things appear, and you, um, you always describe the field first when you're blazoning something. Garb, um, this doesn't mean clothing, a garb is actually a sheaf of wheat. The word gules means red, again it is um, another of the tinctures, now you know too. Gyrony, um, I, I, I don't know how to describe this, <laughs> when it's all like, when it's like, uh, you know, it's, mm, here it is. In this chuchin, in chulikong, chunchin. Uh, this word is a mini shield that appears upon the main shield, like a little version of the main one. Blanked is tongues. Okay, the word lilies refers to a symbol that you might be familiar with. It's called the fleur de lis. It looks like this. This. Um, I don't know why it's called lilies. The fleur de lis is actually based on the iris flower. I might actually do a video on the language of flowers, which comes mainly from the Victorian era, if, if that's something that you'd like to see. Um, just let me know in the comments. Leopard is a, a bit of a trolley term. Um, it actually refers to a lion, <laughs> but when a lion is um, passant, passant, uh, like walking, it's called a leopard. We're learning so much here today. And a lion a, a lion. A lion's just a lion. <laughs> Lozenges are these um, little... Lozenges are um, little diamond shapes. A uh, mullet is a star with five points. Um, why is it called a mullet? I don't know. I don't think anybody does. People, people probably know. The word or um, is called a metal and it is gold. Did I skip argent? Argent is silver. Ordinary is the main charge on the field. Papure is um, purple. Quarterly when it's divided into quarters. Rampant is when an animal goes like this. Reversed is um, reversed. <laughs> A uh, roundel is a circle. Sable is black, which is another one of the colours. Sultire is when the um, division is in four, like this. Surmounted is a charge partially overlaid by another charge. The word semi um, refers to a bunch of uh, the same kind of symbol, kind of scattered over the field. Um, you could have like a, a semi of fleur de -lis, when the field is powdered with little fleur de -lis, and they are also referred to as a flurry. Something you'll find out if you do look into this subject for yourself is that in heraldry and blazonry there are so many terms for everything. Sinister um, is another one of my favourites. Sinister refers to the left side. I fucking love that. <laughs> Sinister. Ungulled? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it refers to the hooves. Ver is um, squirrel fur. Um, I'm vegan, so vert means green, another one of the colours. Voided is when the charge is missing um, a shape in the middle, the same shape. Wavy is a pattern that resembles waves. Uh, so I went a bit fast there towards the end, but hopefully you've picked up one or two terms that will help you, or that you at least found interesting, or that I at least got wrong, so the people out there that do know what they're talking about can let me know in the comments. <laughs> if we look back at the start, the arms of Bandolf, you can see this and you can now describe it as... Da, 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 da. Party per pale, argent and vert, that means divided vertically per pale argent and vert so white and green 
and then we have a tree eradicated counter changed so um a tree obviously eradicated me we didn't actually cover that so eradicated is when um something is kind of like uh like torn off like the the roots are showing or if it's um if it's a head like the the sinews and counter changed um hopefully you can see what that means it's the colors are kind of split and mirrored in the image so all together party papeo argent and vert a tree eradicated counter changed I've only covered a tiny sliver of the grammar and terms of blazonry so if you do want to know more I could do it probably I could do another video on this subject let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see I do also encourage you to again do your own research I think that you will be pleasantly surprised at how interesting this is for something centuries old. If you want to see more of me, you can catch me over at twitch.tv slash hellofdiddies. I'm live every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. I'd love to see you there. Thank you and have a great week. Bye.